In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely foam roll your lower back. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, I'm going to show three ways to safely foam roll your lower back. All of these exercises work just a little bit differently. They're going to focus on different spots, different muscles of the lower back. So to get the best results, go through all three and use what gives you the most relief. I'm going to be using a standard 24 inch high density foam roller for this. If you would like to get this online, I will leave a link in this video's description. So with that being said, let's fix that lower back pain right now. When it comes to foam rolling the lower back, the position and movement that you definitely want to avoid is rolling straight up and down the spine as you would the upper back. The lower back is just built differently. And when you do this position right here, what it can do is overstretch and overextend the lower back, causing a lot of muscle strain and also issues with the joints, including a lot of pain. So we definitely don't want to do that. The safer way to be able to do this is instead to lie off to one side and hit the muscles directly off to the side of the spine. And it usually feels really good. So what I'm going to do is just tilt my body towards one direction. Let's say I have a lot of right-sided pain. I'm just going to support my upper body just like this onto my forearm. You want your arm to be in a nice straight line going down. The bottom leg right here, so this would be my right leg, is going to go straight away. My body is in a nice straight line too. Let's take the top leg right here, place it over the other, and my foot is going to be planted right around my knee, and I'm going to press down with my foot right here on the bent side's knee for a stable anchor point. In this position, we're able to control the amount of pressure pretty easily over that foam roller, and we can also use our arm and leg right here to glide over the foam roller, so it's a nice controlled movement. So what I like to do is take my foam roller right here and place it right at the top of the glute and then I'm just going to do a slow rocking motion applying enough body weight into the foam roller where I'm getting a good self massage but it's not causing any discomfort. I'd like to go over a spot for roughly 15 seconds just do this nice and slowly building into that pressure over time and then from there you can relax and throw in another set or two. You can also then just switch the foam rollers location right here by just raising it or lowering it. But go over the whole complete lower back. Any spot that you think needs more attention at that point, throw some more repetitions in. You can also experiment with different angles of your body. So tilt a little bit more towards this way and then repeat. You'll notice that the muscles get hit just a little bit differently. So you can tilt this way and you can tilt towards the opposite. Just experiment with different positions and angles in any spot that you feel hits that back pain a little bit more, spend some more time and throw some more repetitions in. So at this point, let's take it to the next level by now focusing on some more muscle groups associated with lower back pain. So with this one, we're going to focus on the glutes and the hamstrings. If you're unfamiliar with the glutes, they are a big support system for the hips, the pelvis and the lower back. So when that's tight, it can throw everything off. With the glutes, I'm going to start by just sitting on my foam roller just like this. Whatever side that you're having pain, let's say it's my left side, I'm going to straighten that leg just like this, take the other leg, put it over the other, and just have my foot flat kind of around my knee. I can take the hand on the other side to grab right onto my knee too for a little bit more support and leverage during this movement. My other hand, that is on the side of pain, I'm just going to take my arm, straighten it, and put it right off to my side. You kind of want to have your arm nice and straight going downwards too. So the movement from here is pretty easy. I'm going to tilt my body towards the side of pain. So I'm tilting my uh, side of my body right here towards my left side, and then I'm going to just simply lower my body weight into that foam roller by pressing down into it as much as I can, and then just doing a nice rocking motion just like this. A lot of my movement will come right through my heel. You can kind of see my foot just moving up and down. It's a very easy, slow, controlled movement, and it usually feels really, really good. I'm just really hitting a sore spot right now into my left glute. But I try to go over one certain spot for roughly 15 seconds. From there, I can just relax. On the next repetition, I try to press my body weight down into the foam roller just a little bit more, and you try to do this for about two to three sets. And from there, you can just switch over different spots as needed. Again, with this one, experiment with tilting your body towards one direction. So lean all the way over towards the left, lean a little bit more towards the right. If you do feel that one certain angle, one certain spot just hits it a little bit better, throw some more repetitions in at that point, but really explore that whole area 
of the glute. So for the hamstring, we're going to focus on the back of the leg. And this one right here can become tight and pull on the back, causing a lot of pain. So this one's really easy. I'm going to take my foam roller and then just place it right behind the back of the knees. Straighten your arms, put them behind you just like this for a little bit more support. So when it comes to the hamstring, to get the best results, you need to activate the top of the legs right here, the quadriceps. When you fire the quadriceps, it will help inhibit or relax the hamstrings, allowing you to go in there and really dig that tightness out a lot more efficiently. So what I'm going to do to activate my quadriceps is to just simply raise my feet and toes up towards the ceiling as much as I can and really focusing on feeling that muscle up here start to fire. Once we feel that, what I'm going to then do is just use my arms right here to push my body away and towards me, kind of like rolling the back of my legs right over this foam roller. And this usually feels really, really good. What I do is just a nice slow motion going from the top of my knees all the way towards my glutes. And I like to do this one nice and slowly for about 10 complete repetitions. Afterwards, you can relax. You can then reposition the foam roller and just target any spots that you think need a little bit more attention. But what you can also do to take this one to the next level is put a little bit more active movement in with this exercise. So let's stop right over a spot that you might be having a muscle knot, trigger point, or spasm over that hamstring. What I'm going to do is then just lower my legs and raise them up. Hold this for a second and then lower it. We're actively engaging that hamstring muscle now and you may find that this just really helps release that a little bit more efficiently. So give this one a try and target any spots that you think need it the most. For this exercise, we're going to lie flat on our back next to a wall or a door. You want your legs pointed straight up towards the ceiling, have your knees bent roughly at 90 degrees. Take your feet, press into the door. You really want to focus on pressing your heels into the door as much as possible. During this exercise, it will help create a stable anchor point. And you may find too that wearing shoes or going barefoot will offer you a little bit more grip. So what I'm gonna do is take my foam roller right here and start right at the lower part of the lower back, kind of right at the belt line. The nice part about this exercise, we're going to use our leg strength to control the stretch over this foam roller. So I'm going to use my legs right here to raise and lower my body. I'm just going to slightly press into that foam roller and then keep pressing down with my leg strength until I feel a deep, but comfortable stretch. The key is don't go to the point of pain. You should only feel a gentle stretch in the lower back over this foam roller. Once we feel that, what I'm going to do at that point is just relax into this as much as I can. I like to hold it for 30 seconds, but if it does feel pretty good, you can hold it for longer. Just grab your phone, a book, take your mind off of it, and just do nice, slow, controlled breathing. But when you need a breather, just lift up with your legs like this. Try to do three repetitions over one certain spot. And with each repetition, try to build into it a little bit more by controlling that stretch by pressing down with your legs and your body weight. From there, I just move the foam roller up just a little bit to hit the segment above. And then I repeat this one, pretty much going from the belt line all the way up to the top part of the lower back. You're going to notice that one certain spot is the pinpoint spot of pain and discomfort. You want to throw more repetitions in at that point because you always want to focus on the spots that need it the most. But if you want to take this one to the next level, you can add in what is known as dynamic movement. That is targeting the muscles through different movements and positions to hopefully get them to release more and get more pain relief. So let's go right over the spot that just needs the most amount of attention. Let's say it's right here for me. What I'm going to do this time around is take my arms, place them off to my side, or you can grab onto the foam roller right here, and we're going to do a simple marching motion. Keep your knee bent at 90 degrees, but lift one leg back just like this as much as you can, kind of like a knee to the chest. You'll feel the muscles in the leg, the glutes, the hip, and the lower back start to fire. I like to hold this for about a second or two. I'm just going to relax, and then I'm going to do it on the other side. I try to do this for about 10 to 15 repetitions on both sides, and with each repetition, try to build into that just a little bit more. So give that a try, pretty much all over the lower back, and if you, again, think it offers you more relief, throw some more repetitions in at that point. You can also do what is called a pelvic tilt or roll to focus a little bit more across the sacrum and the hips and the pelvis. So place your foam roller right at the lower part of the lower back, kind of right at the belt line right here. 
time. And what I'd like to do is just take my hands, put them on my hips, and then rock my pelvis forward and backward, just a nice motion. When you do this, you kind of want to tighten the core too when you rock your pelvis forward. It'll just offer a little bit more I should say better results with activating those pelvic muscles. But I just hold this for about a second and then I just rock back like this and just hold that for a second. I actually just got a nice release in my lower back. That actually felt really good. But I try to do this one for about 10 to 15 times, just nice and slowly building into it, trying to get as much range of motion into the lower back as possible. And you can also go over different spots of the lower back and repeat this if it does feel good. The last position that you can do will really help for one-sided lower back pain. And this one is more of an upper body tilt. Whatever side that you lean towards, it's going to help the opposite side. So let's say that I have a lot of right-sided um, lower back pain. What I can do is pretty much just put my arms across my chest like this, overhead, or behind your head just like this. What you're trying to do is take your upper body and tilt it towards the opposite direction, kind of like right through the waist, right through the hips. The more that you go over, the more that you're going to feel a deep stretch off to the side. This really helps target a muscle called the quadratus lumborum, which is a big instigator of one-sided back pain. So tilt all the way over towards one side, Hold this right here for about 20 to 30 seconds, relax, and then you can do it on the other side. If any of those positions feel really good, you can throw in up to three to five repetitions. This next one is especially good if you're dealing with pain below the belt line. It's going to target more across the pelvis into the sacrum, off to the sides into the SI or sacroiliac joints and really hit the glute muscle on top of all of that. So you're going to lie flat on your back, take your foam roller, place it below your belt line, right over the glutes themselves. So when you rest on this, it should not be resting on the lower back. It should feel like you're resting pretty much on the pelvis and the hips. I'm going to then take my arms, place them off to my side, or just grab right onto the side of the foam roller. The movement from here is very easy. We're going to take our legs straight up towards the ceiling, have our knees bent roughly at 90 degrees, put your legs together. We're then going to do what is known as a sacral roll. So I'm going to rotate my legs through my waist while keeping my upper back flat. Go down as far as you feel comfortable. You should feel a great stretch in the lower back, but more importantly, you're going to feel a very good self-massage into the pelvis, into the glutes, and that sacroiliac joint that's making contact with this foam roller. Once I get down as far as I can go comfortably, I hold this one for about two to three seconds. From there, I'm just going to relax and then repeat it on the other side. I try to do this one nice and slowly, for about 10 to 15 repetitions on both sides. And if you feel like you need another set or two, you can do that. But I also then try to just experiment with different positions, lower the foam roller just a little bit, and then repeat. If any of the spots just feel like it's targeting your pain a little bit better, at that point, throw some more repetitions in. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.